Where's he going with this shit? <laughs> Headquarters, follow my captain's orders. Live in a land of pain and torture. No straw, but they want they mortar. Tell Trump, fuck borders. P.S. Prepare for slaughter. Never take they sons and daughters. Never give them all in return. Niggas never wanna learn. Till they laying in the earth. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. You got to burn. Even if I gotta go with it. So fuck it, is you with it? Niggas never feel froggy, they just wanna rip it. If I see a bad bitch, then I gotta rip it. Your lip looking like the Red Sea when I split it. Hmm. Tell me why that flow so vicious. Every time he switches, beat a nigga ass like mama did with switches. You niggas look a real, real gay. Where are all the bitches? I mean, where are all the sisters? Better stay away from witches. That's a brew high. Love me and she brew, yeah. White people, he brew nah. If you didn't know, then you do nah. <laughs> You belong to me. Yeah. All right. Uh. This nigga's bonkers. From the same city as the Knickerbockers. Name ring bells from here to Yonkers. Or Nicaragua. You niggas too thirsty, you need some agua. I ain't talking Fina. When they kill my dog, I ain't hear shit from Peter. These niggas talk Kent, but they really mean FEMA. Kevin cut his eye, got more stripes than Adidas. If you ain't a bad bitch, then get the fuck off my penis. One, two step with a meat tree drip. Keep my circle tighter than my meat tree is. If I don't fuck with you, you a piece of shit. When I dip, you dip, we dip, we dip. This the type of shit that I sing to my bitch. No 6 9 we don't sing no snitch. Gotta love that bass. Social distance, I love my space. Tell Karen, get the fuck out my face. We ain't never switching up on our race. You belong. It's you, baby. One more time. Uh. Gotta love that bass. Social distance, I love my space. Tell Karen, get the fuck out my face. We ain't never switching up on our race, cause you belong to me. One more time for the ladies in the back, eh? Uh, one West, yeah, I'ma do it when you afraid to do it, I'ma say what you ain't gonna say, I'ma tell you what you need to hear, this life they got us fucked up man, real fucked up, love, feel me one time, love, yo, I know struggle, I know pain, I know my people strung off with the dope to cope with the long days I know this place called America I know this place where they deal with us like homeland terrorists I know this place got us fucked up I know this place got us positioned so we never try and stand up I know this place wanna see me sleep And when it come to my people they love to see a black man weep But it's survival of the fittest And when it come to the law best believe we gon' get it Rise Israel rise Ain't no place you wanna be Where you can surrender from a flea And still be dead in the streets This white man he play for keeps And when it come to his love You should never wanna see I want war, fuck peace I want war, fuck peace I want him dead in the streets I want war, fuck peace I want him dead in the streets I want him dead in the streets Yeah, so prepare them troops Because my king come through He gon' show you what it do Death to all you other nations You had a hand in the equation for this hell I be facing See man, y'all think it's a game when we bring it to you like this man I gotta give you the truth When they lie to you You love the lies cause it tastes sweet But it's truth bitter And it hits you straight in the core man But you need it One West shit Now, I got the pleasure to introduce you to that Philly Barbarian. Hey, yo, Salaki, cat. You had something to say? Rise Israel. 
All this pain and it's hard to cope Your situation stay the same so it's hard to hope You say you tired of moving cane, now they call you broke There's new rules to the game, you ain't hardly know So, that's why you gotta play it smarter I'd rather die on my feet as a man than a martyr That's just a lesson for my daughters Just know their father gave his life just to build you a fortress So you would always be protected Just know you living in a world where you gon' feel neglected I tell you while you young just so you'll expect it And when that fake love come you can reject it But this is hectic, give me one more second I just hope you make the same choices and never reckless I don't want you to your innocence prematurely For you I'll be judge, executioner and the jewelry And just know you worth all the diamonds and all the jewelry Every single ruby and never shine way that you be That's why if they wanna hurt you they gotta go through me and even if I can't be by your side physically I just want my baby girl to rise out this misery That's why I be working and despise every enemy Cause they wanna separate our bond and our memory So I fight for victory and I fight for pain And I fight so you don't have to ever do the same Until I rise again Yeah, 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 Ever since it's a COVID-19 Everybody does a top of vaccine Warm to the vaccine when the pot clean Separation need vaccine Me say vaccine, vaccine, vaccine Warm to the vaccine for the crack fiend Warm to the vaccine to give vaccine They afraid them shoot our son when the cops see me Hey, where the vaccine? Warm to the vaccine when the pot clean Warm to the vaccine from the crime scene It's a ghetto youth all up like that we need a vaccine at the ghetto car Our struggles are no similes and no metaphor If we get to you dream if we get a car Buy a house, try make it out, nuff no get so far Nuff no live so long, we get vaccine Ghetto people no want to no vaccine If it's not a vaccine, we stop cream And can live a better life and stop dream For the youth, them way in a jailhouse We still no get charged, can't get no bailout We say vaccine, what for me could no see road, quarantine Vaccine, vaccine Vaccine, warm to the vaccine for the crack fiend Warm to the vaccine for the vaccine We afraid them shoot our son when the cops see me Hey, where the vaccine? Warm to the vaccine when the pot clean Warm to the vaccine from the crime scene Little ghetto you fall up like napkin We need a vaccine for real cause Some evil people, them be will lead us Food power next time for you no ease up Me not trust Babylon, we need a vaccine For them stop, deceive the poor And every workplace that the people more vaccine me not lie we need the cure for police stop kicking with door we need a vaccine for box the aisle mill for cut the piping look how long aisle price drop but jps i give with some fuck we like billy wall i will no fit go oh, hey yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. UPK got the vaccine Mr. General Yan have the vaccine General Maiman have the vaccine Big Captain Mashak got the vaccine Ay, Naya Tap got the vaccine Ay, Abada One got the vaccine Ay, Akaya got the vaccine Bakawar got the vaccine Ay. Ever since it's a COVID-19 Everybody does a top of vaccine Warm to the vaccine when the pot clean Sufferation need vaccine Me say vaccine Vaccine
Kind of one kind, kind of one kind, so you can hear us? I can hear you good. I can hear you twice. Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? This is your man. This is Black Watch. You know what I mean? I'm at the show. We're on a down point. I am Priest and General Holiday out live in the studio with Priest and Captain Mashak Mayam, Nayatha, the Hunter Yard, and I'm with the Zaka Ma. What's going on, Rocky? Yeah, I mean, a lot going on today. A lot going on today. We're going to talk about it. You know what I mean? With all the stuff going on. The Taliban. <laughs> um, and how they're going to start treating you over here in the land called America. Oh, God. You know what I mean? And what, what's going to happen. So let's get it. Let's get. Let's hop right into it. Let's not even wait. Let's not even wait. Let's, not even wait. let's get it. Come on, come on. We're we, we going to go straight into the... Um, Taliban is that, you know what I mean? Joe Biden, Joe Biden personal creator, you know what I mean? Joe Biden what? I said Joe Biden's personal creation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He, they, they, they up in arms right now about all the stuff, you know, he he didn't do or did that made them, um made them, you know, be able to take over. They, they, some of them Republicans, in essence, blaming him for everything that went down. So... Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we'll get some of some the stories with it now. So, like, it be one, one. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe, but you say it's it's not just Afghanistan, but Americans are losing. Americans are losing faith in Joe Biden. Mm. <clears throat> Wait, yeah. they, they should have known that before they put him in office, man. They knew what kind of man That's right. Office. Yeah, his policies ain't never been right, man. Right, hmm. they ain't never been right. They were so busy worrying about Donald Trump. You know what I mean? They want to put him in office. You know what I mean? And, and, and our people, black, especially the Indians, were so dang on asinine. They wouldn't go to this man like he's going to make a change. He made it worse, man. Yeah, like I said before, a snake gonna be a snake. At least you can see a snake. You know what I mean? I'd rather see a snake than have it hidden in the grass. He the one hidden in the grass, man. I mean, they say his record is horrible as far as foreign policy for 40 years. 40 years. You understand? Know Come on, let's read some of the article. Come on, come. President Joe Biden's approval, approval rating is at its low, lowest point in his presidency. In the average mm -hmm. polls, he stands at about 47%. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a steady decline. For the beginning of this month, 51%. Last month, 52%. And beginning of June, 54%. It would be easy to assign Biden's decline to the withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan. But as the data shows, Biden has been trending downward for a while. The truth mm. is that he is losing ground on a number of key issues. The coronavirus pandemic, for example, had been one of Biden's best issues. He was trusted more than former President Donald Trump to handle it in poll after poll during last year's election. Trump likely would have won in 2020 had people trusted him more. Biden's approval rating on the coronavirus had consistently been in the 60s for the first six months of his presidency. I don't even want to talk about the coronavirus a lot. That declined to the high level. Is that Yes, sir. I don't even want to talk about the coronavirus right now. I want to talk about the Taliban. Mm. You know, the whole the whole premise that I'm going over there was to crush the Taliban because they were the ones who were responsible for 9-11. Right. And let them come in there and have, you know, operational, you know, operations in there, camps, the whole mm -hmm. nine, training and all that. That was the whole purpose. Now, how do you go from the whole purpose to now? Side them and recognize them as a as a particular government. How did you do that, man? You understand me? That was an America's sworn enemy. He was going in and crushed them, man. That's what's supposed to happen. You understand? Before I get into the scripture, I want to bring out about this here, and I'm give you the parallel about how the Lord dealt with us and these other nations and how they dealing with them, man. And show you the positive they doing is not right. Anybody want to say anything before I bring it out? 
Lassa. Lassa. No, no, no. Somebody give me the story, King David. When King David sent an emissary to that Moab prince who lost his father. And that Moab prince listened to the so-called advisors of his that told him all kind of wrong and bad information. He shaved the face and ripped the clothes of the brothers that went over there as emissaries. Okay. I remember when they came back and they told David, David said, no, y'all wait here. And they went and crushed the whole and destroyed all of them, man, yes, for what sir. they had done. Anybody know what that story is at? Yes, sir. Second Samuel yeah, chapter know. 10, sir. Say again. Second Samuel chapter 10. All right, let me get there with you. Hold on. Come on, come on. I think, reverse I think you, you could start at one. You, you, this, this is after, um, yeah, it's Second Samuel chapter ten. So you could, you could start at verse one. Second Samuel chapter. You want it, sir? You want him to hold on? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. So verse one. Now this is this is what we're gonna give y'all as far as the backdrop is here. Now, 9-11, they was all up for them. Don't never forget, never forget, never forget. They went over there and fought that long battle. And let me say something. History is, is, is heavy because nobody in the, in, the, in the history of powerful empires has been able to go over there and conquer that region. Right. Nobody. Right. The of, it, it goes back to Gang of Khan. He tried it. And he had took over almost that whole area over there. He couldn't do it. Hmm. The Russians couldn't do it. Couldn't nobody do it. Everybody who tried failed. And here we go. The most powerful kingdom on earth, so they say, went over there and he failed miserably. Right? Mm -hmm. They failed horribly. You understand? And you're seeing the result of it right now. The result That's of right. lack of good leadership, man. That's right. Left some people, left, listen, man. Left some people out there. It's a shame that they left them out all the cash that they promised that we're gonna help you for helping us and we're gonna do the XYZ for helping us. They left them over there, man. Yeah. They left them over there. People mm -hmm. who turn trade against their own time, they left them over there, man. Mm -hmm. To the point to where now you have, you know, retired military people going over there and find a way to get them out of different channels. So they're not, they're gonna get killed. The Taliban hunt them all down. And let me mm -hmm. tell you something. They holler about, it, it, this is how hypocritical the society is. They holler about firearms and weapons here in the land called America. And they left all them guns and technology over there. You hear me? They left them M4s, night vision goggles. They left daggone, they left, um, uh, what's that, them Humvees. You know what I mean? Them battle vehicles. All that stuff they left over there from the time again. They left helicopters. Apache helicopters. Can you imagine that, man? They have all those things over here. Come. You understand? But this is the same man here that still said he don't, he does not feel sorry or he ain't taking back that crime bill that he pushed in the, in this in this, this so-called evil behind kingdom that still got more than more more brothers, Hispanic and of Indians in prison right now than we had to save him. And said he didn't feel sorry about it. The same man who did this here, man. He left the terrorists with more guns than what they had before. More, hmm. you know, more um, advanced technology. But us, we still in the jail. We still treat like trash in this land called America. Go ahead, Kahn. You want to say something? Con, sir. And, and uh, <clears throat> they didn't burn a lot of their paperwork in them embassies. They said once they lowered the American flag and they was pulling out, they was trying to burn a lot of that stuff, that paperwork. But a lot of them uh, Taliban people got a hold of them, the, the list, the list of the people who was working with America, the interpreters and all that. So they was able to hunt them down. They had the paperwork. So mm. they didn't even destroy. They didn't even, you know, destroy a lot of them files and stuff they had in a, 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 on a lot of them areas. So they was able to track them down because they knew who they were with the paperwork. Mm -hmm. so like, Michelle, they, got bio, they got biometric technology. Where they they, they 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 checking your fingers and they're telling you who the hell you are. Mm. And there's a report going out here today that the America gave them a list. You know what I mean? Then the State yeah. Department tried to come back and say they didn't give them a list. Man, then mm. this is a this is a catastrophe. And this is when you mm. put your trust in. 
Black Hispanic Independent, Native Indian, got walked by the girl and saying, vote for Biden, vote for Biden. Get Trump out of office, get Trump out of office. Now you see the error of your ways, man. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and so like I said, if I could say right. something, sir. No, you can tell me if I'm wrong, sir, but it almost seems like, um, like, like Esau is doing the same tactic he did with the so-called Native Indians by giving them guns. And, you know, I mean, trying to form an ally with them, like what he doing with the Taliban. And now the Taliban going to fight against their own people. They're going to shoot and kill each other with them same guns. Just the same thing like what he do us. Like he pit us against each other. You understand? So, you know what I mean? You can tell me if I'm if I, I wrong with what I'm saying, but, you know what I mean? He sit down and he think tactically. You know what I mean? We'll give this side guns. We'll give this side money. And we'll have them do the dirty work. We'll have them go fight. And they well, go kill sure. and slaughter each other. Well, this is nice doc, you right on that one point there because I'm going to say this to you, right? They left out of there knowing what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me this country that's supposed to be so powerful made a blunder like that without knowing? Mm -mm. I can't believe that they did that on purpose. I mean, that's what I know. They know what they were doing, right? They, and if they made that blunder like that, then that's bad, bad, bad for the land called America. You understand me? Right. That's bad for the military, bad for everything, man. It's that, you know, the Bible said, I'm going to take the wise men out of team. You know, after World War II, they put a whole lot of Germans over here in the land called America. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Germans, for everybody knows the Bible called team. And that's team, the wise men, Esau. They're the Germans. They brought a whole lot of them over here after World War II. They built their tanks, built their missiles, the whole, whole base to space and all that kind of stuff. They brought them over here, man. And long as they would take the wise men out of them, man. Like the choices they're making are not wise at all. They're simple as hell, man. Right. They're simple as hell. How do you let them cats get out of prison right there on the airfield? You hear me? <laughs> like I was watching a little bit of it today, right? And this is a lot of it. They had all them damn terrorists in a prison cell on the air on the, on the air base. And let uh -huh. the cop let them loose. Right. What the hell you think they was gonna do? Mm -hmm. Smile at you and say, hi? No, man, they be sitting there taking your treatment and now they're coming back to give you what you gave them. Right. That's right. That's what you gotta expect. Go ahead, Con. General, what you saying so heavy because they had one, they had one uh uh uh, uh terrorist. He was in the top ten on the uh uh, uh in the you know world's most wanted list. Mm. I looked up on TV. He he now the head of state. Now he's like like they like they rolling out like he got like he now an elected official. Like he he's a diplomat now. Now he got diplomatic immunity. Mm. He was hiding in the cave, to drinking champagne in the in the in the in the, uh, the castle. Well, he got yeah. diplomatic immunity. Went from from the uh, on the most wanted list to being now a head of state. In uh, Afghanistan mm -hmm. overnight. That's, 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 the, that's the Arab Cinderella story. Right. <laughs> them, 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 them niggas was, was, was cleaning, cleaning the damn floor. Right. <laughs> Prince Charming left them some guns. All of a sudden, they go into the ball. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. they have a glass AK. They enjoyed the life. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. And I, also, too, if you remember, you know, before prior to the um to the, the Gulf War, America's economy was you know was was shaky, and it's damn near like the Gulf War was a kickstart because of all the bills they run up, and you know all the money that go the budgets get shifted. So again, America's economy right now after the COVID is hell, and then Sleepy Joe he had to come up he had to, he had to show that he better than um Trump, so he gonna pull the troops out. But really, this is to start start the war. This is to you know. Go in there and just bomb whoever because they have so much of the guns now. He done left there and, and stuff like that. Like this, this is their excuse now to just, you know, bombs over Baghdad all again yeah. and to try to help the economy because they, they can't keep printing that stimulus money and the ink gonna run out. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? the ink gonna run out eventually. You know what I mean? And they had to prepare for what's going on home with all the all them um, Afghans who gain housing and jobs and paperwork. Some veteran somewhere right now is this close. He this close. You know what I mean? One more. He 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 won Assalamu alaikum away from mm -hmm. from nine nine eleven twelve and thirteen. 
<laughs> right, that's right. And and so like you said, no, that no, that I want to see what they're gonna say about the, the Mexicans on the border. Mexicans on the border ain't terrorists, right? They ain't doing none of that. But they're bringing them Afghanistan um in on them planes. Now who checking the COVID? I ain't seen no COVID test. Right. Ain't nobody crying and saying that you know what I mean these Afghanistan coming across there with a bunch of COVID. Right. You understand? Oh, but not, you know what I mean? Let's see what they're gonna say. You know what I mean? We brothers on the borders, you know what I mean, in cages, and you're telling me you can't take them in, but all of a sudden you have room to take in the Afghanistan people, right? Right, all right. of a sudden, it's right. a lot. You know what I mean? <coughs> they, it, it, it's like, like a cap. Go ahead, it's like a cap. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I was going to read some, but I'm, I'm going to grab it after you. Come, on, sir. They, uh, they saying the Air, Airbnbs now uh, are opening. They got uh some going on with the Airbnbs where they open it up for all those uh, uh Afghanis, uh the refugees. They bringing them all over here, and they cut a deal with the Airbnb. They housing them in the Airbnbs now. The and it's the same. Airbnb in a second. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> they 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 doing that, but like like the, it's, it's so heavy to compare and contrast how they treat us. It's so heavy, man. What the Bible bring out about the Lord's chosen people? Because the Bible said we live in the shadow of Egypt. Like we not really a part of this place. Like they treat us like prisoners of war. We are we are always a potential enemy of the state, and they treat us as so. But then they bring these, they created a power vacuum, like General Hyde brought out earlier, a power vacuum in what what militarily they call the the uh, uh, um what do they call it? the graveyard of empires over there mm -hmm. Afghan Afghanistan, uh, and now they they wonder why all this they're getting all this fallout, and it's hurting America on the international front. Because all of America's enemies now, especially China, they telling Taiwan and them if if war break out, they gonna they gonna abandon you. Right. They telling these other countries mm. that they trying to muscle now. They said you can't depend on America, and it's going out all, all everybody watching this. All these other countries that allies with America, Japan, one of them. They saying what will they abandon us? So it's hurting them all on these all all, all on the uh, the military front and on on and on intelligence. Because a lot of those people that was providing intelligence and back channels to America in that country, they hanging them up in, in, in the middle of, of, of the town right now. They hanging them up and burning mm -hmm. them alive right now. And they burning, not only are they burning them alive, they're burning their military uh, access card or whatever card they had with the U.S. They burning mm -hmm. it on their chest. They melting it on their chest while they burning them alive. You understand? Mm -hmm. So just show you how overnight, how things can flip. How the world can change overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So lock it, sir. Yep. It, 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 it changed. Somebody want to bring out something? Yeah, so like I said, if I may, uh, two things real quick, sir. One, this, this is how you know the real prophets of the Lord are in the ISUPK. I believe Captain, uh, General Mahiman said it and Captain Mashak said it. That after they gave us that first stimulus check, I remember it was said that um that America was going to look to find and go to war with somebody. Like it's going to, mm -hmm. America was going to start to expand its military operations because they, they printed out all this money to give us stimulus checks. And like you just said earlier, like this right here is, is the, prerequis the prerequisite for them going to war. Like that's why they're doing it. The second thing, sir, if I may, what they're doing with the whole information being compromised in the embassy, uh, uh, the, the oppressor does not respect traitors. Like they've done this all the time in the hood. Like if you if you, you know anybody that uh, got paid by the police, the oppressor will use our people to be infiltrators and to be um, informants, and then they mm -hmm. promise, them, yeah. promise them protection. And then once they get whatever they information they can from them, they release all the information. They don't protect them, and what ends up happening is, you know, saying the hood deals with them, and that's what happens to a lot mm -hmm. of our people. So it, it, we should just take notice. We should never join with these oppressors. Like uh, they mm -hmm. don't respect traitors. Now that's why the UPK is so is so powerful. You know, through the spirit of Christ, because we don't compromise and we don't make a covenant with our enemies. Okay. Now what you said is so powerful. And I'm gonna say this to you: the office right now is being set up by the Most High Power. Everybody better take notice, man. The Most High set this up to bring this kingdom down. 
That's all that's going on. You know what I mean? He set these things up to destroy this land for what they have done to us. Right. Mm-hmm. All the mismanagement, all the blood being shed, because you shed our blood and justice and take it for life like it means nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. So because you had done that, the Lord is doing things to destroy this place, man. You understand me? Before his son arrived. One more thing. Before we get started on what I've asked for, give me the scripture where the most high the angels plotted to kill Ahab. Hmm. Give me where they had counsel on how to destroy Ahab for the evil he had done in Israel. The Lord orchestrated all these things. The most high up in heaven had a had a counsel with his angels and said, listen, this is what we're gonna do. How are we going to bring this place down? Somebody give me a good way. What are we going to do? And they all sat down and had a council and gave suggestions to the most high power, and he went with the one that he thought was the best. Well, now you're seeing it play out right here in front of your face in the earth about what the most high chose. You understand me? Oh, God. The most high chose to have Biden in the office. And to make all the mistakes he's making. Right. He shed more blood because of the blood they shed of all. It ain't no wonder how the Lord is shaming him in front of the whole earth. You know why? Because he shamed us in front of the whole earth. Right. God. He's God. giving him back what he gave us. That's and that's what the Lord does, man. That's right. That's what the most God does. He'll give you bread that he gave to the children that he loved the most. The Bible says, you only have a love out of all the nations of the earth. And when it says you only, who is he talking about? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You are the ones that the Lord loves, man. And he has given him back what he gave us. When he said he wasn't sorry, for that crime bill that disproportionately locked up black Hispanic Native Indians, he didn't care about them. So now this is going on now. The Lord don't care either. And he embarrassed them in front of the whole world stage. Give me that scripture, man. Come on, come. First Give me that scripture thing. about the dream. And what I, what the council the Lord had up in heaven with the angels. Because the most I had one about him and about the society. And you see it playing out right here on earth right now. Go ahead. No, we come. First Kings chapter 22, verse 20. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go hmm. up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? You see that? He want to know who can persuade him before they get killed. No side said up in heaven, who can persuade Biden to make all these dumb ass decisions? Right. In front of the whole earth. That's right. going to embarrass him. You understand? Okay. Because of what he did to my children. And everybody come up with different, different, you know, ideas. All the angels come up with different, different ideas for how to destroy this man. Keep on reading. Come on, come. And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. They have been, they have been debating, man. They say, oh, look, Lord, what if we did this? Oh, what if we did that? Well, how about this? Mm-hmm. How about that? Go ahead. Come on, come. Verse 21, and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. Mm-hmm. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he mm-hmm. said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Woo! Mm-hmm. You know what the prophets are? They the ones who give him counsel. Mm-hmm. They the ones that say, okay, don't do this, do this here. Who put it in his ear to make the moves he's making right now? The counselor he chose. Mm-hmm. That same angel went and said, no, I can do it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the ear of his counselors to make him do dumb, dumb, dumb shit and get exposed on the whole earth. That's what you're saying going on That's right true. now. That's right. They brought out on That's TV to say that his foreign policy going back 40 years has been horrendous. And he continues to put people in his cabinet who support him and go along with him. And he keeps making the same mistakes. So the angel said, Lord, this one is easy. 
That's right. Listen, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a tip in the air to people who count to him. Yeah, you know I mean, and have him do dumb things, make them dumb mistakes. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a colossal blunder. If let me say something to you. If I was in a world and being a veteran, I'd be pissed. Mm -hmm. Because what he did, it felt like he just threw away the blood of my, uh, of my fellow men, you know what I mean, and just forget about it. Right. I, and that's why all the military pissed. That's why you got cats in the military speaking out. They don't care what happened to them. Mm -hmm. They had one cat that was a battalion commander. He went and said, I want everybody to come, but they believe him in duty. And he was a battalion commander. He had some weight in the military. Why are these things happen? Because the Most High ordained these things to happen. Why? Because of what you have done to us. Don't act like it ain't no punishment when you do things to black Hispanic and Native Indians. Right. That's right. This ain't no goddamn free game against us, man. We got a power that loves us. We ain't the Muslims. We ain't got to go hang We just. We don't have to go strap bombs to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And go all the odds of boom. We ain't them Africans. We ain't gonna go the way and hack everybody up or take hostages. We're not gonna do that. But you know what we all gonna do? We're gonna go to every ghetto, every barrio, and every reservation and wake up black and spend the Indians. Teach them who they are. Tell them and show them how to love one another like how God said for the be. And the Lord, when we do that, he will be against our enemies, man. And you see it in the day, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You see it in the day. Lord had a council with his angels. And they came across and said, listen, we're going to put the lion tongue in the mouth of his councils. Go ahead. Come with Khan. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go he, forth. You, yeah, he said, yeah, you're going to do it. And it's going to work. And it's working right now. Mm. It's working right now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Kawakan, go forth and do so. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. That's and exactly the Lord. What happened. He put that spirit of no understanding in the ears of Joe Biden's counselors. And look what happened. Let me give y'all a story. I don't know if i um, because I, you might be familiar with these type of things, but I'm going to give you a story about what happened to me overseas when I was overseas. And when I was in the Esau military, right? We was going overseas my first Mediterranean float. And we got rerouted to, I want to say, was it Liberia? What, Somalia? Somalia came later. Somalia came later. It was Liberia. We got rerouted to the U.S. Embassy in Liberia, right? Because they was having a civil war. And it was hard for citizens or Americans to get back to the embassy. So we had to go over the security thing, right? So now, here's our rules of engagement. Right, much like that movie with with um, what's that movie that, that uh, Samuel Jackson played? He played the movie called Rules of Engagement. Yeah, kind of right. Mm -hmm. Very similar to that. I mean, super similar. All rules of engagement was that if you was fired upon, you could not shoot back unless you got clearance hmm. from headquarters. Which means if I'm in a foxhole and a shot, you like maybe twenty yards from me, and I see a guy shooting at you. And got you pinned down, I can't take him out. I gotta let you keep getting shot at. You understand me? Even though I see the cat shooting at you, like he in my crosshair, I can't take that cat out. Well, I'm gonna say this to you, man. Our brotherhood, and my first platoon I was in was nothing but a bunch of brothers. I mean, there's a whole bunch of us. And when we got our orders, <laughs> it's crazy because we sat there and they gave us the orders. You said, she. Yeah, I got that thing. All the bubbles said, mm -hmm. like all at once. He was like, see, I guess we're gonna fucking be in a grid. <laughs> and that was our that was our mindset because of this. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let my brother I'm sitting there, sitting there with get killed. I just somebody shooting mm -hmm. him. Right. This is a man I done broke bread with. We step and hate together, train together, we fight together, and I'm gonna let him get killed or shot at, and I can't do nothing about it. Hmm. Ooh, shit. I said, man, listen. I said, the first cat I see is going to be gone. 
Yep. And we all made that vow amongst each other. Now, fast forward to the day. And what happened just now with the bomb, right? Right. They had them cats out there on that line, knowing what could happen. Mm. You know what I mean? And they wasn't really secure in what they was doing. You trusted a man, you were just fighting. You were just fighting right. this cat. Yeah. Right. And all of them. And you gotta trust them. You tell them they ain't know, you mean tell me them cats don't know who the hell the enemy was? They know who the right. hell the enemy is. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They know them cats. Them cats used to be down with them. Yep. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Come on. Come. It's a lot. No, Go ahead, John. And so I think Captain Nadak, he wanted, he had something he wanted to say. So like, he was before me, sir. So like, now just no, sorry no, about know on the chat room. I wasn't on embassy duty, but our job was to reinforce the embassy when they called for help. You know what I mean? I was uh, my my duty. I was a, I was a grunt. I was in infantry. I was that cat going through the woods. You know what I mean, you know, stalking your ass down, hunting you. I don't know how to keep behind you. You know what I mean? And, and I ain't gonna tell you the thing they told me. I, I must, must not. And they be knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you know, you said too much about that, boy. Yeah. But they, they taught me, they taught me, and, and I wasn't in fact, the fast platoon was in uh, Quantico, Virginia. You know what I mean? I was stationed out of North Carolina, 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines, Mike, Mike Company. That was my unit. And I was in the Halo unit. So whenever anything happened, when we was going overseas, guess who got the, got the goddamn call? Let's get ready, hit the helicopter. You're gonna help me fly somewhere. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That was always the case. So it was the same thing in Liberia. So with that being said, that was our charge we had amongst each other, that we was gonna always look out for each other no matter what we did. You understand? We was gonna look out for each other, watch each other back. We were like this here, if we can fight, Back to back, no matter where we at, that's what we are gonna do. The one come on, we all came on, hmm. and that was our that was our job and our mission. And that's when we we made that that vow together amongst us as brothers, our opportunity. Kind of you know what I mean? Kind of now, can you imagine you let these cats come in here, walking in here, and you know these cats, somebody might have a damn bomb. And let me tell you something. Here's the crazy part about it. That tactic that the Taliban, that the ISIS can use when they blew up one place and then they went back and blew up another one. You know, I got taught how to defend against that. You know what I mean? Back in 1990, when I was in, uh, in, in no, 89, in infantry school. It got reinforced when I got on the SWAT team. Right. right. Then when one bomb go off, you don't take your ass rushing in nowhere. You wait, you take your time. Because it's a secondary yeah. school with someone waiting for you. As soon as you go yeah. on there, boom, get out of here. You understand me? Like, how do they forget some of these tactics that they was taught? That's because the Lord was not with them, man. Yeah, come on. Come on. Right. And because of what you have done to us, the Lord is paying you back. We ain't doing it. We tell you what the most high doing to you for what you did to us, but we ain't doing it. The Lord is doing it, man. Right. Y'all mm -hmm. chose Sleepy Joe. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I thought he was the best thing since sliced bread. Right. Mm. And look what happened. Mm. He embarrassed everybody in the whole in, in this country, all over the earth, man. Mm. It's a lock. Go ahead. Mm. Come on, General. The, uh, we uh, we got brothers that out there by uh, in Colleen, Texas, out there in Fort Hood. They just opened up a camp. Shout out to them out there. Uh, mm -hmm. Karab and them, uh, Captain Yadrazak, uh, Officer Awan Yala and them brothers out there, out there, uh, right there in front of the base and having camp. And you and they can see the morale on those soldiers. Like, they, 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 you know, they, even they don't even trust their own military now. And they're ashamed of what happened because now it's giving the military a black eye yeah. and America a black eye on being the world's police yeah. and being the world's savior. Yeah. So that they even mm. they know they have to identify to say, yeah, y'all right. You know what I'm saying? What y'all saying, we they know what we saying is the truth. And they yeah. see and even that putting that, you know, uh that bravado around, you know, what they what they think they fighting for. They seeing people that they work with, families being hunted down, you know, uh girls being sold off into slavery. Like that's what's going on in Afghanistan. It's like it's like 
and and they trying to reach out like you said all those different channels uh, i heard eric prince is charging so much you know he's a uh, military contractor private contractor he he making money over there charging people uh, uh, hundreds of dollars some of them thousands of dollars to get out the country yeah then we'll we'll come in we'll swoop in with yeah. our private our private military you know what i'm saying and come over there and uh and uh, uh get you out of there for a fee yeah, you that's so mercenary profit. That's right, mercenary, and we all know mm. that mercenaries they don't have an allegiance to a country. They mm. have alle allegiance to capital, to money. To money. So they don't have an allegiance to a country. So mm. you know what I'm saying. And at one time, Trump, you know, uh, his uh, I think Eric Eric Prince's sister in law, she was over the uh, Secretary of Education, I believe. Mm. So they was giving him so much power over there at one time as a military contractor. Back there with Blackwater. Now he changed the name because it was a fallout. That's it. But they yep. was they was calling him a viceroy, mm -hmm. like meaning like a you know a mm. person that's in the place of a king. Yeah. So he had so much power over there working with them chieftains and things that he had almost he was almost like a viceroy over there. Yeah. Like that that, mm. that black them, that Blackwater unit that they give them so much power. Even um the younger Bush with his team that he had. He had, a, he had a few a few of them oppressors working with him that was tied to that black water operation and 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 with it with the with the um rebuilding contracts with slum Berger and a few of them other ones I forget their names right now but but that 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 kind of alludes to the point I wanted to make if I could Jen, if I could if I could if I could um just 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 interject with some sir yeah you can it, this um you know just just America's history you know what I mean they like they like to talk about you know critical race theory, but you know this right here is critical war theory, America's critical mm. war theory. It says this this is an article from the New York Times, back in 1991, right? It says um, it's been a year since Iraq invaded Kuwait, and half a year since the United States and its coalition partners defeated Iraq in a land war that lasted a hundred hours. This seems like a good time to assess the effects of the Persian Gulf War on America's economy. This was a unique war in American history in terms of its effect on the budget and the economy, both because it was fought out of invest in Slucket, both be because it was fought out of inventories and because America's allies paid for the war, at least mm. in the short run. Indeed, the United States made a profit on the war during the fiscal year 1991, which ends on October 1st. So once again, just like how, you know, how, how General always bring out, you know, black people always say, we, we don't want no police. We don't want no police. Then the police pull back. The crime go up. Then they say, we need more police. The same thing here. Bring the troops home. Bring the troops home. He said, all right, I'm going to bring them home with the quickness. Boom. An attack happened, what, a few days later? Now we're going all the way back in. Like he, he always sets the stage for the cause and the solution. Like he's the devil, like the scripture says, if trouble befall thee, he is right there with you. He is right there. If you could smell him, it's his fault. Uh, the article goes on. Total pledges from coalition partners to the United States came to 54 billion. Oh. Thus, and this is this is from the the, the allies yeah. who paid to help support the military on top mm. of the military budget 54 billion dollars in that year one year alone and that's the re that's the reported budget not what comes under the table or any hollow some shit you know what i mean that's just the reported budget thus far the amount received has been 46.6 billion right of which 41.8 billion was in cash mm. yeah. in cash mm. They come in with open tribute because come America, come in here and save us. This is the devil, like Revelation 12 and 9, that deceiveth the whole world. Right. You understand? Right. With that, with that, with that um, Beverly Hills MTV Taliban hip hop house he have over there. Yeah, them niggas ain't even look like they do, you know, Ramadan. <laughs> so, like, them niggas ain't look like they fast for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas look as about cosmetic as they could. Them niggas in the gym working out, dancing, pressing. They're doing all kind of things. That, that ain't, you know, that ain't the, the, the old rough man that's sitting on the rock. That ain't been riding on that. Right? You get mm -hmm. the point? Like, like, this year is really, they done, they done, they had enough of them stimulus. You know what I mean? Two, two more stimulus checks and it's going to be the OK Corral in these streets. Two more. 
So now he had, they had to start this whole thing. And, and as the general was bringing out, it works for us because through through their own conceit, through their own, you know, the, the, the deceitfulness of their wisdom, they think they're so high-minded, the Lord Lady Trap right there. Right. They're going to go mm-hmm. in and get sucked all the way in because they know this is how they all have always bailed out their economy historically. And that's going to be it for them because Russia mm-hmm. ready and China mm-hmm. ready. Yeah. Musak, tell them, tell them this, Musak, too. Is that, remember, y'all, here's the, here's the key, another key in the what Kevin Musak is telling y'all, man. This is Armageddon. Right. Every country going to be down there fighting. Mm-hmm. Right. Y'all think they're leaving that area? No. They haven't even left Iraq yet. Right. Mm-hmm. They were talking about how they pulled about Iraq. They still got two fighting over in Iraq right now. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They are not ever leaving this region because this is Armageddon. You understand? These are the last days of time. They're not going away. That's why it's so heavy when you bring it out. It's like you come out at nine o'clock. And it's like a mob. But this is supposed to happen. Come. Yep. Mm-hmm. The Lord had that counsel about Joe Biden and he did it. Yep. To keep them over there. Mm-hmm. And you know what I saw? What I thought was so tough and gravity, man. I said, wow, what a shame. They asked um, Camilla Harris about Afghanistan, and she laughed and giggled. How many of y'all saw that? Hmm. No, so she laughed and giggled. They, they put it on for her, about it. And she said, Afghanistan, and she laughed and giggled. And then try to catch herself. This is who y'all put in office. It's a lot. And she was it rough. So, so, so Liger, John, uh, Kama mm-hmm. Sutra Harris, like, this is what happened when you let a, a hoe <laughs> in office. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they sit there, <laughs> like, they not taking it serious because she don't understand war. Mm-hmm. She don't understand the fight. What you said was so heavy because they got a storm down here on uh, in uh, in, uh, South Louisiana. And you go under those bridges under those overpasses, those are the real soldiers that fought in the Vietnam War. Those war veterans, mm. this this homeless, that has been abandoned under those bridges. Those brothers you see, and they don't get mm. the accolades, they don't get the That's medals it. and all oh, that. Man, not to cut you off, Masha. Here you go, right here. Come, on. come, Masha. If you can give me some volume, brother, take it back and give me some volume and watch yes, how she laughs for the action. <laughs> So you tell me you're working to get it done, but your actions are saying something totally different. Mm-hmm. You understand me? That's why my king is Christ, man. That's right. That's why. That's, right, mm-hmm. That's why my king is Christ. That's right, sir. That's why I hold my allegiance to Christ. That's right. You understand? Mm-hmm. If, he, if, if anybody doesn't have, don't have anything to say, I want to speak to my yeah. King David that you had in Second Samuel 10 and 1. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I always remember to um Commander Jane Hanna prophesied also to like they're gonna try to come out of the Middle East, but they can't come out of that place. Yep. You understand? Listen, they went okay. I was in the Marine Corps back in 1989, brother. That's my guys, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be there. Name my dumb ass. I went in the Marine Corps in 1989, right? 
And we was in the desert by 1990-91. Mm. And they still over there. Yep. Mm. And they ain't never coming out of there. You know mm. why? Because they're supposed to be there. Yep. All nations are going to be down there. That's why Russia down there. That's why China down there. That's why all of them are down there. Because that is our my day. Right. That's right. You know what I mean? So like, this is what it's supposed to be. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, like, if I could, General, Russia and China had, had uh, they reached out to uh, the Taliban after they took over Afghanistan. They reached out. And they and they reached out, you know, like, you know, like, a, like, a, like, you know, recognizing their, uh, their sovereignty, their, you know, their independence, mm. saying we, rec we want to do business. And it opened up, I mean, look at what's going on with the, with the poppy fields. I mean, uh, I mean, everything from cryptocurrency is like a whole new market now over there. If you got money and some capital, you can go over there now and be a freelance investor now, like yeah. you know, with these other countries. So now it like 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 they trying to get in, you know, recognizing these used to be most wanted list. Now they they diplomats now. Now they mm -hmm. decide how the country's ran and so forth. So like, <laughs> no, you right, man. You totally right, Con. Mm -hmm. Like, and listen, that's why America changed its stance from. Terrorists to now they recognize the Taliban because Russia and China recognize them. They can't let them get a hold of the place, so now they gotta go against it and try to say, okay, we're gonna recognize you now. The UN recognize them. Hmm. You understand? And these are a group of terrorists. These are cats hmm. who are actively killing people right now. Hmm. They still going through houses and find out you work with the Americans, you and your family are dying. Right. That's what's going on. Mm -hmm. And all we in America, we over here in America saying, stop killing us unjustly, man. Give right. us a fair shake. And you kill mm -hmm. us like it ain't nothing. Over there, they get a free pass. Right. They get to be so I, now. Go ahead, Tom. General, you know what? And, and th this right here, let this be a lesson to all the brothers out here that's that listening to Black Watch, especially the brothers and sisters, that fortune favors the bold. Like, how bold will you be for your mm. God? Like, they, 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 like I said, these people were fighting them, living in caves for 20 years. Yeah. And overnight now, right. they are recognized by other nations. Hold fast to this truth. Yeah. Hold fast to this doctrine. Yeah. Because if you are loyal to the Most High, that's how it's going to be when Christ come back. This thing is going to flip. You understand? But they held on. Their God ain't even real. Your God is real. Mm. So how much more should you hold on to the integrity of what you're being taught in this truth, man, and serving your God? That's you understand? Salak. And Salak, yes, sir. Like I said something, too, right, on, on that. I know how much of us saw the, um, the, the speech Biden put on, right? No, it, it, it. you can clearly see. You can clearly see that Biden, Christianity, or Catholicism, or however you want to put it, totally different to black people alone. Yep, you understand because he got up on there and said that we are never for going to forgive them for what they did. You understand for ki killing thirteen members. Now, what black people? What, what are you going to do? You understand? America has been murdering us for what over four hundred years, and then telling us to what to forget about slavery, sweep it under the rug. You understand? And Biden could get up there and say we are never going to forgive these people. We're going to hunt them down and we're going to bring them to justice. In other words, we're going to kill them. You understand? Which, we, which then, you know, is, is, is a total different Christianity white America has to black people. You know what I mean? Right. These American service members who gave their lives, mm -hmm. it's an overused word, but it's totally appropriate here, were heroes. Mm -hmm. Heroes who've been engaged in a dangerous, selfless mission to save the lives of others. We have some sense, like many of you do, what the families of these brave heroes are feeling today. You get this feeling like you're being sucked into a black hole in the middle of your chest. There's no way out. My heart aches for you. To those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America. So lucky if I could, he he done he done done suddenly five what we was just going over. He said you get feel like you're sucked into a black hole where there's no way out, and that's out of that mm. Middle East. Mm. 
And yeah. after that, like, this war will never end. Right. Like, how Ezekiel 25 mm -hmm. and 5 say, since you love blood so much, blood will pursue thee. That's right. Yeah, yeah. right. Feeling today. You get this feeling like you're being sucked into a black hole in the middle of your chest. There's no way out. Mm. Mm. That's the Lord. Yeah, come, come. That's, that's the Lord. I, 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 that's why we, that's this and this. You're right. That is the most high. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was the most high who's doing his head to them, man. Right? And they yeah. are so frustrated. They can't get out of it. It's ridiculous. But they don't understand the prophecies of the Bible. They are supposed to be there. That's you understand right. me? Right. And the Lord had that counsel with the angel to figure out a way to have this happen. Look at, if you look at Joe Biden, man, he looks like he's got a real bad problem. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like and the Lord is making it like this here to him and embarrassing him on the whole world stage because of what he has done to us. You mm -hmm. can't murder God's chosen people without repercussion coming from God. That's right. Yo, know, Patrick told y'all, man, that the blacks in America are God's children. And I'm going to add more to what he said. Hispanics, Native Indians, they the chosen as well. North, South, Central America, the Caribbean Islands, and the rest scattered. Right. You can't hurt us without our power coming back to vengeance. You know what I mean? And the beautiful part about it is all we got to do is what we got to do. Talk to brothers and sisters like us. Mm -hmm. and, and show them brotherhood right. and sisterhood and true love. That's all we got to do. You ain't got to do nothing else but do that. Mm -hmm. Show them who they truly are so we can stop hating one another and start loving one another. That's all we got to do. And we'll watch our power destroy our enemies for what you have done to us. And you see it in front of the face right now. Because of what you have done to us, man. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Keep on reading. Who was saying something? Oh, I, 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 I was going to say something, man. I just want to say that black hole, that's the valley of decision. Like yeah. the scriptures say. Like, yeah. like, they, they, like, like Captain Yashima said something that was heavy out there at the camp. He said that the white man got himself in a situation that he could only die his way out of. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Like, like, this, like the only way you get the only way you can get out of this is to die your way out of because now he's he's in that black hole, you know, which is the valley of decision. Now he's he's in there, and the Lord is he's bringing the World War Three, you know, what I'm saying to the fourth to the forefront now. You know, what I'm saying he really know. In general, like you said about his counselors. You can look at Biden's face. He don't trust his counselors as much as he thought he did <laughs> after this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the people that agree with him now, you know what I'm saying? He don't even trust. You know, you got a lot of yes men in that White House too. Yeah. So he don't mm -hmm. even trust his counselors the, the way he did at first. He may fire some of them after this. Some of them may have to resign <laughs> after this after this military fallout, quagmire they had down there. Listen, that, like that's, that's if, that's if. They ain't take it to the streets because remember last week they had some fool down there by the um is the Library of Congress with a big black pickup truck rigged to explode if they shoot the windows out mm. right there in DC like th like this thing right now is such a powder keg at home and abroad like this is Rome all over again this is Rome spread mm -hmm. too thin where you know they can't con contain the foreign interests. And then the streets of Rome is falling into social and moral decay. And the people are, are rallying. Like he, he right now, you you and and you bring the children of the parents who you bombed after the Gulf War, who you bombed right. after 9-11, to live in PG County, to live in Chantilly, Virginia, <laughs> to live, mm -hmm. to live no, in Chester, North Carolina. To live in North Carolina. You bring them yeah. to live there with, with enough money to go and buy guns. This place is getting ready to fall overnight. And this is sleep. <laughs> Trump right now is, I mean, he's looking at sleep. I told you all, Sleepy Joe. But he, he don't understand as the Lord. That yeah. he put, they put Trump, the Lord put Trump in to, you know, sway them one way. And they, they want to rebound so hard, they rebound to Sleepy Joe. 
and Sleepy Joe yes. gonna take them straight to hell, boy. Straight to, like the law is a master ta yeah. tactician. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you something, Mr. Shot. I would have loved to hear that council. I would have loved to hear what the council had to say. Right. Because, <laughs> because that, the, the repercussions of that council was hell on wheels, man. You understand me? The no. bad part about it is still brothers and sisters who are still caught up in the world and ignorant of knowing they are and Come. still serving and out here dying for a man that don't love them, man. Right. At one point in time, I had that mindset. A lot of brothers had that mindset, man. You know what I mean? I remember my pot just out. Am I saying his name right? The brother that passed away in North Carolina? Uh, Makadzai. Makadzai. Mm -hmm. He had that mindset, man, until he thought of that young brother got killed. You know, by the cop from Justly, it blew his mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From just coming home from over, overseas in Afghanistan and then have a cat get killed in your city, be like, yo, man, this is what happened over there. What's going on? Where the rules at, man? Mm. It make you realize that, yo, something ain't right here, man. Mm -hmm. Something ain't right. And General, if I could too, if I could too, sir. You only see brothers making that distinction. I have yet yeah. to see some white boy from Idaho or Nebraska come home and say, what are we really fighting for overseas? This is messed up. This is bad. It's all the brothers. Because again, the mark of the beast, you have that American ideology in your head. It's engraved in your mind. And you go in and fight for the idea the whole right. the, the, the false reality that your people could enjoy mm -hmm. America, that the slave could sit with the slave master. And when you don't go risk your life and get, you know, hear them bullets whiz by your ear or lose a leg or lose two legs or, you know, lose a, a friend in war and you come back home and you thinking you did your duty. And now you, by your service, you don't just elevate yourself, but you would elevate your people too. And to come mm -hmm. back and see it, you 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 feel so gutted that what you you went to war to defend some racist cop's right to murder your brother like a dog in the street. I have yet to see any heathen, an Asian, an Arab, a so-called white man, you know, an African, to come out and say, "What are we fighting for?" It's only us because really, we are we are the children of the Lord. That's that's really what it is. That market beast that that we take. Like we realize it, they they really don't until it, it happens to them, until you know some some Pakistani or Afghanistani in the military, he had to drop bombs over his neighborhood. When that happened mm -hmm. to them, then he'll be like, I ain't doing this no more. But we go in there looking to really sow ourselves to the flag, to sow mm -hmm. ourselves to the constitution, sow ourselves to the to the oppressor, and be one with service because any righteous person would respect another man's sweat. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Even, even like even as a people, we, we form bonds with our mechanics. You know, in the world, you form a bond with your barber because you appreciate the work they do for you. Right. Right. Like, this like we don't realize this person who we working for, he doesn't hmm. appreciate the job. You understand? Mm -hmm. He all he wants is the job to get done, but he doesn't appreciate mm -hmm. your 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 work. Right. That's why Christ said, "My burden is is light." Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like tra transfer the burden. Stop slaving for them. Stop toting weight for them. Come right. and have this weight here. Come and work for me. I appreciate your work. Right. I That's appreciate right. your sweat. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the sacrifice in your life. These bastards here, they don't appreciate none of that. They don't appreciate none of that. And, and it's so it's so hard because brothers, is there's some good sincere brothers and sisters that walk down this walk because they're trying to be honorable and right. And they're trying to fight for what they think is right, but they don't know. And, you know, Lord allow to hear the UPK and come and fill up these ranks here so, you know, we, we could really set up a nation. That's right. You know what I mean? Because let Sleepy John them go down there and die in that black hole. That's right. Hmm. Let them go die. Salakis. Mm -hmm. Listen, no, I'm shocked. You are correct. You are absolutely 100% correct. I know. I'm going to say this to you. I think there's some people, you know, who've been in serving the military that's been deployed several times. They get to a point to where you be like, I want to go home. <laughs> like, you know, you just, you, 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 I know when I was in Okinawa, and when Somalia first jumped off, and we had to come out of the field and go down, we came out of the field, went and got some food at the chow hall, 
went right to the army and we marched right down to the field the way we get on the damn plane to go to Somalia. And we all were like, man, I'm gonna go to Quran. Like, this is some bullshit. That's that that was our that was our fear. Like we tired of this here. Like enough is enough, man. You know what I mean? Like it's just too much. I wanna go home. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I got tired of running over saying to fight for other people's stuff, man. I'm gonna go to their home. Enough of this shit there. And people start to feel that at the period of time. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people get out quicker and sooner. Nobody's really spending a lot of time in the military no more because they don't want to do it anymore. They see the injustice in it. And you fight for this country, but you see your people like you getting killed in the same country you're fighting for. Yeah. The same thing that happened in Vietnam. The same exact thing. And you fighting and dying for a country that treats you like shit back home. Yeah. Philando Castile followed every order. Yeah. Philando Castile, man, he was so meticulous and being right, he went to classes on, on how to carry a gun the right way and on what to say to an officer and still got killed. Mm. After doing everything right. Mm. So you see that, then what you gonna say? Hmm? What you gonna say? You see a man get choked out over cigarettes. What you gonna say? Hmm? What, what you, how you gonna feel? Over cigarettes? A man get choked out when he died. You see a man get a knee put in the back of his neck where he can't breathe. What you gonna do? Hmm. How you gonna feel? You understand me? But they over there now, the people they supposed to be at war with, they equipping them. With hardware, military hardware. Mm. You understand? What you gonna say? How you gonna say it? Right. You gonna be pissed. Mm. Mm. You gonna be pissed. You gonna feel like it's unjust. Right. Mm. Because it is. Mm. And that is the reason why the Lord had that council with dumb angels, man. You understand me? That's they embarrassed this man on the face of the world stage. The same way he got on the world stage and said he didn't care about that crime bill, and that crime bill destroyed lives of black Hispanic and Native Indians. He didn't care what kind of background they had and where they came from. But guess what? Now the Lord don't care about you. And he embarrassed you on the world stage. Right. Every 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 station I look at about what he said, they all pissed at what he said. They mad at him. I mean, they hot, hot to death of what he said and how he acted. Right. Mm. The Lord made that happen, man. Come on, come on. The Lord. Mm. And you think you can negotiate with the Taliban? They still said that at first you got to be gone. That would hear nothing else. They're not taking mm. no more. They're not regarding silver and gold. Mm. Exactly. They're not regarding silver and gold like the Bible said. Because the Lord put that spirit on them, man. All these things right now are going on is biblical, and that's why it's so heavy that, in the truth, and the Lord let us know how we got to be. We ain't got to be like the other nations, man. Right. Our way is really more simple than what you think. It's really showing love to your brothers and sisters. That's all it is. Right. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, that's man. That's Treat them like how you want to be treated, man. Come on, no. That's it. Come on, come on. That's if, how it is, man. If I could, if I could play the rest of the video soon, and I have another one too about the army. Man, you can, brother, but I don't even want to see the video. All right, you go ahead on. Play right? no the video. No sweat, sir. I don't even want to look at this camera. Carry out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this: we will not forgive. We will mm. not forget. Mm. We will hunt you down and make you pay. We will not be deterred by terrorists. We will not let them stop our mission. We will continue the evacuation. I've also ordered my commanders to develop operational plans to strike ISIS-K assets, leadership, and facilities. So no, no, no we moved from the Taliban to ISIS. See? Hmm. See? Well, because ISIS-K was supposed to be the ones responsible for the bombing, but ISIS-K, according to their records, came from the Taliban. 
They were former commanders of the Taliban and a couple other places, and they just had to be for somebody. It's like almost like a break up group. Right. Yeah, that's just a. They break up. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Who think of the whole different way? That's all it is. Kyle McCann. But they still the same. They all know each other, goddammit. Kyle McCann. And, and if I could too, so not not only do they all know each other, but they they have the them military, them strong military weapons. Like you know, as you were saying in the beginning, I have a tape here with these Republicans, mad at Joe, and they're running down all the weapons they done left back there. So. The blood of Americans are now on his hands. That blood is and will be on Joe Biden's hands, and this Congress will hold him accountable because of the negligence of this administration and the hasty retreat that they led out of Afghanistan. They have left $85 billion worth of American equipment in the hands of our enemy, the Taliban. Me meanwhile, I got to jump through hoops and do backflips to get a gun permit. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> These niggas could just wear a turban and get, you know, the 50 cal for the back of the damn camel. Right. <laughs> mount, mount the 50 cal on the back of the camel. Right. And Salaki, Salaki San. Also, too, I don't know if you all know, but the the um the housing um money that is set aside for for this whole COVID, the um the judges on them strike it down. So now the tenants could kick these um people out the um the places. And you understand? Afghans writing. Yeah, and you know what I mean eighty five what billion? You tell me, America can't take care. The Hispanics and black people after what they did to us. Yep. Yeah, you can't. You ain't fooling me. Yep. You know what I mean? Go ahead, keep on playing, Michelle. If not, it's like we're done. Yeah. So like, 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 so than 85% of the countries in the world. But it's not just weapons. <laughs> they have night vision goggles, body armor, and unbelievably, the Taliban now has biometric devices, which have the fingerprints, eye scans, and biographical information of all of the Afghans who helped us and were <laughs> on our side over the last what the hell? Listen, now you see why they was holding on to the damn C-130 and falling out the sky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas said, um, mm -hmm. screw face, give me a death two times worse. Uh, Them niggas knew yeah. that they was going to be hunt. They was going to be um, game, open game. And now, now that y'all all see why the Lord did what he did, like the Lord embarrassed this man on the national stage, man. And for what he's done to us, man. All we got to sit back and keep doing our job. Commander Junior Hanna gave every man an ICBK in order. And the 2016 Passover, when the brothers graduated, he said, go out there and get your brothers out the world. That's our job, man. To go out there and teach. To teach the truth about Christ. Teach the truth about the 12 tribes and nations of and who we are, man. And show our brothers and sisters the love that we deserve. To bring us back into the fold of the Lord, man. That's our job. And the enemy takes us. Because we've been doing our job so well in the eyes of the this is the result right here, man. Yeah. The Lord had that counsel. And that cat said, I'm going to be a lion, something, something, something in the ears of the counsel of Joe Biden, and this is what he's going to do. Lord said, you know what? Let's get it. And you've seen it right now. That's a lucky, sir. Hold on, like hold on, my God. Can y'all no, understand no. what he said in the biometric shot? No. Mm. Do you know how heavy that is? Yep. It don't take my kids can work a biometric machine. My mm. baby. Put your finger right here. Eee, oh, you the enemy. Come here. Oh, you help them cats. Come here. Mm. That's all they need to mm. do. Mm. Go ahead, nice top. Swap it, brother. Nah, sir. So heavy way of saying, too, with the, with the, um, like putting the um the line words in the air, now. like whoever tell um Sleepy Joe that the um Afghan military was ready to to, to defend the country. <laughs> Listen, Michelle, I mean, they tried it with the Vietnamese. 
Right. <laughs> they tried to arm the Vietnamese to get them up and ready, and that place fell. Just like how Afghanistan fell. Uh, like, I, I, the I, pride. Go ahead, go ahead, Nice. Talk. No, it's like yesterday. There's a video out right now, right? I saw it on Fox. Where they're showing you the Afghanistan military training, <laughs> right? And doing some jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> if you see, if you see it, oh, and the um, and the American arm um, instructed the white man. He trying to say, "Yo, what the hell are you all doing?" Like he, 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 like, "Yo, you can't be, you can't be high coming to um to training." You can't be, you know what I mean? Like he trying to chastise them, man, to tell them, yo, you all got how to, you know what I mean, run this country while we leave. You know what I mean? Like whoever tell that um Joe Biden that that military was ready, you know what I mean? That, you know what I mean, as low as you're saying, so somebody lying his ass. The Lord happen, man. I mean, let me tell you something. You're gonna see more of that in the day the most high not done. The Lord is not done for what they have done to us. There's some more going on. And let me say this is the key. Brothers and sisters, I can see more things happening in earth. It's going to be, it's going to be totally crazy. But y'all got to focus on this truth, man. Oh, you understand yeah. me? It's, listen, we in them last days of time. When Satan will pull out every stop trying to pull you out of here, you got to really focus and focus and focus your mind, your spirit, this truth, man. Right. And really lock in on the truth. Yes, sir. No matter what you gain, no matter what you lose, you stay up behind this truth, man, and fight for the truth. The Bible says, strive for the truth unto death. Oh, God. So, and the Lord will fight for you, man. God. That's, That's right. what we need to have happen out here today, man. That's right. Y'all keep doing that, man. Right. And while the most I keep having his angels put things in the ears of the counselors of his kingdom to make them have or make them make the decisions they're making right now. Come on, come on. That cat was pissed off when he said they got biometric machines. Yes, sir. Listen, with every person who ever worked with them, are you kidding me? Uh. Everyone. Come on, sir. Masha, you got more on that video? They yeah, I, I, I have the two. I had the two of them. Uh, if I, I just interject in with the one night I was talking about, it's rough. It's a lot, kid. <laughs> but by, by the way, Akim, Hebrew Academy starts tomorrow. Don't. <laughs> don't be like the don't be like these Afghanis. Yeah, don't I mean, come high. <laughs> you you lose you lose your whole country in two seconds. He's doing dance, he's doing dance revolution. He's doing dance revolution right there. You already got fired. Ah, Masha, come on, brother. 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 There is no plan to account for any of this equipment or these weapons. Let me be very clear. If any American is harmed, injured, or killed and not safely evacuated out of Afghanistan, or any of these weapons or this military equipment is used to harm, injure, or kill an American now or at any time in the future, the blood is on Joe Biden's hands. America is going to face Al Qaeda 3.0. The intelligence community has been clear and has briefed us repeatedly the Taliban taking over means Al Qaeda 3.0 comes roaring back. Except now we're in a worse position than we were before 2001. Yeah. We have bases in the region. We, our local allies are being hunted down as yeah. we speak. And as you've heard today, the Taliban are going to be armed to the teeth. So that when future American soldiers have to go back in to deal with the problem <laughs> and deal with the incompetence of this administration, how many are going to die? Yep. A, a lot. lot. A lot. A lot. Way through, <laughs> how, how 21 Savage said, how many are going to die? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Our own damn equipment to deal with Al Qaeda 3.0. We can have another Pulse nightclub. We can have another San Bernardino. We can have another 9/11 because of that incompetence. And general, if I could, 
he named he named oppressor terrorist attacks. You know, the nightclub in Florida, mm -hmm. the San Bernardino shooting, 9-11. But mm -hmm. he's not saying, are we gonna have another Philando Castile? Are we gonna have another Eric Garner? Are we are we mm -hmm. gonna have another Trayvon Martin? Which is what it is the Lord is brewing for them. Lord, mm -hmm. he is returning again the captivity of Judah and Israel, like it says in Joel, to the earth. Mm -hmm. he's, he's making them drink from that cup of affliction, even mm -hmm. once he dreads. Like, in his mind, the only atrocities is 9 11, not Rosewood, not Tulsa, right. Oklahoma. He don't care about that. What 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 it is in his his mind is the ter is the terrorism that happened to his people with no problem. How many gonna die? A lot. A lot of you are gonna die. Your sons is gonna die. Your unborn children, you are going to be born into a war that your forefathers started. It is of the Lord that you get your blood stuck in that black hole. Hmm. That's a lot too. If I could, come on. Like, like, and he didn't mention January six either. Like the right. Republicans, they want a war. This all this is paving the way for the second coming of Donald Trump. Right. right. Like, mm -hmm. like, like they want a war now. At first, and remember, Trump was saying he ain't want to deal with the Middle East. He wanted to pull out, but Joe Biden he took the he took the bait. So now they they didn't they didn't got themselves into something. He got to fight domestic terrorism and foreign terrorism. Right. Right. So, so this right here is about to get completely ugly. Yep. Yeah, and and Silaki, like all all this is uh, to me politics because they they set up Iraq. They give Iraq all the jets, the jets, the guns, the, the bombs, everything, and Iraq fall in an hour. I mean, um, a hundred hours. No. Remember, they fall in a hundred hours with the help of the the coalition. It ain't just America alone. So once again, it's, it's the cash cow move. You know what I mean? It's the cash mm -hmm. cow move to have everybody who want the Taliban going to pay America to come in now and help. Yeah. And now America just, America just ain't going to move the Taliban, but they're going to bomb everything so that America could rebuild it. Yeah. You know I mean? Now, but here's the deal. And I'm saying this here clearly, y'all. I'm going to say this again, y'all. This is Armageddon. Just a violent city. Just a violent Jehovah family. Just a violent Jehovah family. America never left Iraq. They said they left and went right back in there again. Right. And still got people over there fighting right now. They ain't going to ever leave Afghanistan. Mm. That region is the valley of decision. And they're supposed to be in there. The most high orchestrated another power move to make them stay in that area through Joe Biden. Mm. That's exactly what happened. Right. Mm. And I'm going to keep harping on this here because it has to be said. They get this because of what they have done to us. It's plain and simple. Come on, come. While we dying at the hands unjustly of the ones you say are supposed to be protecting us, and y'all giving them all kind of passes, and then want to say we was criminal? Well, the hmm. Lord is punishing you for what you're doing. That's right. That's right. This is your punishment for how you treat us unjustly, man. And that's as simple as that, man. As simple as that. The Bible says the pride of thy heart has deceived thee, man. Yep. Pride for people. Y'all think y'all can go and do whatever you want anywhere you want to go. I'm like, y'all the big bad power. No, the most high is the big bad power, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we we'll tell you how much more the most high the power. Y'all evacuate people over here, right? Hmm. Y'all yeah, know how many of them cats come on here really is terrorists? Yeah, that's right. Right. Mm -hmm. Playing around as being somebody who was down with y'all, but really right. terrorists, really hate y'all guts. Mm -hmm. I said, like you said, and, and, and that, that, that's for Trump who want to say that the Mexicans is rapists, right? Yep. Yeah. Mexicans is rapists. You're right yeah. now, you're talking. They still got our children, like how y'all said earlier, on the border. And mm -hmm. change. Mm hmm. Stupid. So, like, Go ahead. It's a it, the, the Republican Party is fractured right now because there's a there's a section that want to uh, uh, keep the get the refugees over here because they were allies of us, allies of the U.S. over there. Then there's a portion that said no more in mass immigration over here. 
And they, because some of them know right. it's going to make mm-hmm. us look like hypocrites keeping the Mexicans at the border, but then allowing the Afghanis over here. So they fractured even in that. They mad right. at Joe. They said, now what you did now, you got, this is called infighting among the Republicans because right. you got some that's for no mm-hmm. immigration. Then you got some that's for uh, uh, immigration for, for the ones that helped America. Right. So this whole thing, you know, mm-hmm. they, they, they hypocrites. Like you said, the council is confusion. Confusion is among their council. It's mm-hmm. so a like, mm-hmm. And listen, that's why the Lord said he's going to take the wife out of team and he's going to have that council with them. Angels. I keep talking about that council of the Lord. Because mm-hmm. you see it right here. Right? Listen, you see the play out right here in front of y'all faces, man. Yes sir. yes, sir. All right, you had the hand up, brother. You want to say something? Sorry. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um, speaking back over what Captain Cahun said, um, yesterday I was watching the news and they told Biden to reinstitute the Trump policy pertaining to the borders again. Because I think he flexed them mm. up a little, but they told him, "Go, we, we want you to institute Trump's, that's how, that's how they say, Trump's policy to close off the borders again. So like, you know, it's like they can let in the Afghanis, but our brothers and sisters are, who are truly living in a terrorist state day in and day out, forever, you know, there, there's no mercy or, or no type of compassion towards them. I just wanted to put that mm-hmm. out there, but it's been what Kahan was saying. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, much shot, you got any more plays in, man? I'm going to go to another story, man, before we get out. It's, it's like 10 30. Tom, okay, you want to play the rest of the tape, so you want to get some more? Nah, I don't see. I don't see the muffle. Say that one more time, sir. Nah, let's go to the next story, brother. I'm tired. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, for everybody that's listening, I want y'all to read Second Samuel, the tenth chapter, and that showed you what King David did when somebody did evil to one of the children of Israel. You understand know me? Right. And they show you the difference in the leadership structure. Like King mm-hmm. David didn't play. You know what I mean? He ain't mm-hmm. play. You understand? And Yahweh's side not gonna play neither when he returned. All right, let's go. Next story. Come on, come on. So just, just you know, on the back of um of everything that happened with January 6th, you know, the Capitol riots. And if you remember en- Enrique Tario, who who commanded Johnny Hanna, fully crushed and educated. Of course, he, he, got, he got five months recently um, for, for burning that flag. You know what I mean? He, 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 I, don't, I don't understand how you could take one for a team that you're not even on. Like, like, <laughs> he, like he, he representing, you know, the, the Proud Boys team. And he took one for the team, but he's not even on the team. It's absolutely right. absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. And now you have these... Um, these low, not, I can't even call them lone wolves. At, at this point, they like sleeper cells. They like sleeper cells in America. These these crazy oppressors here who you know now want to claim, I guess, a mental. Um, you know, they they using the crazy the, the crazy excuse. They are using the crazy excuse. You know, what I mean, this ro- Roseberry, right? This is this this oppressor came to DC I think two weeks ago in a pickup truck. You know, I mean, hmm. parked it outside the Library of Congress, and it was rigged to explode. If you could pull, not this story here, where they're talking about um how he, he right now he they are giving him the insanity case, oh, but the the original thing where they where they described the bombs that was in the truck ready to explode. Right, this is the this is this one, but you just had to pull up the other one. I could play this video in the meantime. Well, play it. Come on, come on. Bear me one. This one moving a little bit slow. So lucky. Like, like he he came he came into DC to do some harm. They ain't say exactly what his agenda was, but he 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 he, he, had, he chose violence. He he absolutely chose violence that day. And um, he had a black pickup truck. I wonder if they have a picture of it in this article here. He had a black pickup truck. I mean. A typical, you know, country boy pickup truck talking fully about what he intends to do. Investigative reporter Eric Flack watched that live stream as it was unfolding. Now we're not going to play you the entire video, but we do want to give you some extra insight into this incident with this. And you know, Flack, we got to point out as well these views expressed by the suspect 
have really been a big concern for judges presiding over the capital riot cases too, right? Yeah, so, and that's why it's so important we kind of delve into some of these videos, judges presiding over the court cases of the 500 plus capital riot defendants have worried openly about the continued threat from extremists still upset over the election of President Biden. The man in custody for what happened on Capitol Hill today did not hide his political views. I'm going to tell you, all y'all out there saying that's a revolution, that's a revolution. I'm building the foundation. As he drove toward the U.S. Capitol in a pickup truck he claimed was filled with explosives, 49-year-old Foy Ray Roseberry live-streamed himself for more than a half hour on Facebook. Before the platform pulled down his feed and his page, Roseberry echoed the same anti-democratic party fervor that engulfed the U.S. Capitol during the insurrection on January 6th. A number of judges ruling on those criminal cases have openly worried in court that the sentiment that drove the violence and chaos that day remained bubbling up in communities across the country and that further acts of violence in Washington, D.C. remain a real threat. But I'm here for a reason, Joe Biden. I'm here for a reason. I'm here. That, that must fight in the list right there. That's well, let, let him keep on going, Michelle. Crown, crown. American people. Roseberry never articulated what the exact reasons behind his bomb threat were, but repeatedly called on his, quote, fellow patriots to join him in Washington, D.C. Mm. We did dig into Roseberry's criminal history today. We didn't find much. A larceny conviction in 1989 for which he got probation. He did two months in jail for resisting a police officer in 1993, but really nothing since. Oh, my goodness. North Carolina law enforcement sources <laughs> telling us the FBI and Homeland Security were at Roseberry's house today interviewing his wife. So, so I, if I could, so I, I was just about to interject what he's saying. You know, I'm here for a reason, Joe Biden. I'm here for a reason. Like that's that's a threat, and you, you right. openly named I'm president. That's a that's right. an open. I'm here <laughs> for a reason. I mean, the news is trying to help this oppressor by saying right. he said his truck was filled with explosives. When they found out that if whatever, however he hooked it up, if they opened fire on him, it was going to explode. And then he's calling on all the patriots, and then further on, in the end, they say. We look back in his history, he didn't have nothing much. You know, a petty larceny, resisting arrest. If that had been a black man that said he's a jail <laughs> and he stole, you know, he stole fifty thousand billion dollars worth of candy with petty larceny. Like they they that's that's what they got. Um who who was um was he brother with the Black Panther? The, um, the, uh, the Hamlet, uh, no, the other one who they just made a movie Fred on, Hampton. Fred Fred Hampton. I believe the, what they got him when we're in, in prison, where they gave him some charge of stealing pies or ice cream or some dumb shit like that. Even the even the thing with Marcus Garvey, where what they get what they um they gave him what they charged him with was some kind of mail fraud, but it was really something with the flyers. But this damn terrorist here, he have a history of larceny and fighting police officers, showing total contempt for authority. And the news media would get up and say, "There's nothing much in his history." Right, he was, right. Going to do this all along. That's the problem. Terrorism in America has a face. The problem is, it's the face of the white man. It's the face you see every morning when you look in the mirror. It's the face on the Gillette commercial. It's the face on the Nike ad. It's the face oh. doing the goddamn weather. Right. But mm -hmm. me going to camp, you want to pull me over and search everything. You want to see my permit. You want to see this and that. But he gets to drive through to the capital, armed with explosives. And hey, he shot, but here, 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 here the key, shot. He better have some competition. That's right. Because, 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 because the team crew is on its way. That's right. Ansel, like you said, you, you realize the heading of the um, the um, the 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 um, um how to put the the. The paper, they call him a, um, a bomb suspect, which then you know they're watching the language when it comes to ESO because yep. they know right. they say the wrong thing, they, they'll, they'll get the right set of people coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you call us, exactly. we, we, te well, we terrorists, no, we patriots. Right. I'm not sure you, 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 understand. you understand, he's a terrorist. Call him, call him by right. what he is. 
Exactly. You understand? So like they, they don't they don't wanna they don't wanna call a spade a spade when it comes to his people. You know what I mean? His people is suspect because they had to go and have the day in court. But us, we guilty as charged. Right. We the rapists. You understand? Right. We the bad hombres. Yeah. No, you see, you see his vehicle, right? <laughs> How many of you are, the, bro, the brothers in the DC camp done seen this vehicle a few times? They've mm. done seen this vehicle a few goddamn times. They, since January 6th, the, pre, the presence of vehicles like this in DC has increased. And this is not a mm. typical DC vehicle. That old no, mud no. trail, get her done type damn pickup. <laughs> that, that old kind of, you know, the piggly wiggly type pickup. That thing is not a typical DC vehicle. But we've seen this a few times. We don't tread on the flag or the don't tread on the license plate and the little curved cap with the, with the reflective sunglasses and driving in the front seat. We've seen this a few times. But they, they don't look at this as the suspect. They don't look at this as, you know, national security threat. But black men, you know, you know, of course, they, they be sending their brother in Southeast and punch him up and broke his damn eye socket. And Michelle Bowser laughed just like Kamala Harris when she was asked about it and said, well, mm. at least we got the gun. But this fool mm. comes into the damn, into your city to blow you up. And, mm. you know, you treat us like this. Like, the, the Lord is, is whipping up a brew for you all that you're not going to be able to get out of. Mm. And that's right. Like, we deserve. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I could. And, and for him, when he says, I'm calling all my fellow patriots, like, listen to that. Like, like, the coded language they have when they're talking about terrorism and talk, it, they have mm -hmm. a coded language. And like General Muhammad said a while back, white people are incapable, they, they are capable of policing everyone but themselves. Yep. They're, yep. Like they, they can police everyone else except themselves. And that will be their destruction in the end. Part of their destruction because what does the scripture say? The terror gonna make him afraid on every side. Right. That's what it said. And 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 who is at his side most of the time? His himself. Him. You understand? So he's doing these acts. We know it's terrorism. They already said they plan on going back to the Capitol. But once again, he's able, he's not able to police himself. He just can't do it. He can't he can't treat us. He can't treat uh himself like he treats other people. You understand? So they get they get a pass, but when it comes to us. We have all kind of predatorial journalism that happened. I mean, they really, in a court of a public opinion, they are we already guilty. You understand when it comes to his media, right? But right here, you you see a lot of this going on. But they sympathize. They sympathize with this. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's what they do. So look, look, look at look at how they, they, you know they, they they apprehend him into custody. Meanwhile, M Miriam Carey, they shot, they executed her with her with her two year old on the back. They executed the brother earlier this year who drove in front of the Capitol. But and, and these 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 two Israelites had mental problems. They say he have a mental problem and he came there with the full intent. He chose violence from that morning with bombs in his car, calling for more violence, and they take him into custody. The, the, the whole the whole this whole video clip is them talking about how mentally unstable he is and he's taking crazy medicine. And the judges need to take that into consideration. Always humanizing our oppressor. That's right. Me meanwhile, <clears throat> we model almost as you said, Captain, in the all day. In the media, the media, I love how the, the, the coverage is of that. They put this face here and he got mental problems. But it's never like you said, he never us. You know what I'm saying? I, they know he ain't got no mental problems. They knew full well. He intended what he intended to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. Seeming mm -hmm. disoriented, he told the judge he needed. Floyd Ray Roseberry appeared for the first time in court Friday, seeming disoriented. He told the judge he needed his quote mind medicine and that he didn't know what day it is. <laughs> After he sent a scare through the entire region and caused an evacuation of much of the U.S. Capitol complex, telling police he was parked outside the Library of Congress in a pickup truck filled with explosives, all while live streaming much of the ordeal on Facebook. 
The judge told Roseberry he was concerned he wouldn't be able to understand today's proceedings without his medication, but he read the charges against him anyway. Roseberry facing criminal counts of use or attempted use of an explosive device, which carries a maximum of 10 years in prison, and attempted use of a weapon of mass destruction, which carries a maximum of life in prison. Roseberry shut down sections of Capitol Hill yesterday as hostage negotiators tried to reason with the North Carolina man, who police said was later found to have explosive materials in his pickup truck, but not in a simple bomb, as he claimed. After hours of keeping law enforcement at bay and D.C. on edge, Roseberry finally emerged from his truck and was arrested. So he, they say he's a North Carolina, North Carolina man, so meaning he, he had a drive from up there? I guess yeah, yeah. from there. Yeah. And of so course, he wasn't for that. The, so listen, and, and the, the trip long, so of course he didn't assemble the explosives, dummy. He, he might have blow up on the way. But, but he wait till he get here. He have the, the material, he have the ingredients there. But they ain't they want to charge him fully. But 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 mean, meanwhile, you you get caught with something with paraphernalia. You know, you get conspiracy mm -hmm. charges, discharges to distribute with the intent to produce a certain amount. Like these people and them because they're so lenient on their own terrorism, that's what's gonna drive them to their feet. Mm -hmm. Right now, Roseberry is being held in a jail in the basement of the MPD headquarters. Typically, the plan would be to transfer him here to the central detention facility here in D.C., but the Department of Justice has asked that he be sent for a mental competency hearing. Eric Flat, W. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, so hey, let's go some more of the story, man. We got another one about um, how they're going to be coming to the hood, taking over the hood. Come on, guys. Let's go to that story. Count on cars, count on car. They say, tw I think it's 1200 or 1500. Mm -hmm. 1500. I know, I know some of them already here in Philly. <laughs> count on car. Oh. I think they say it's 1500. You have it? Yeah, that's, I think that's the one. 1500. Yeah. Go ahead, count on car. U.S. says 1,500 Americans remain in Afghanistan. Oh, Salaki, so you, you only the one where they, they're coming over. Yeah. Okay, Salaki. So Give me the one where the, the refugees coming, the, the Afghan refugees. I believe it's, it's, it's a similar number. And, and these are another thing, too, for, for brothers and sisters in New Orleans, right? When, when that flood came. Right, America has the resources to, to, to help black people. Don't don't be fooled. You know what I mean? They have the resources to help blacks and Hispanics, but they choose not to. Right, right. You're absolutely right, Captain. Because when COVID hit, all of a sudden it was money to give out. You know, what I'm saying quick, quick, fast, and hurry. Then pass another stimulus, quick, fast, and hurry. So you're absolutely right. Yeah, come on, cancer, come on, can and and this, they say they done left with all with all the Afghanistanis they're bringing over. They done left fifteen hundred uh, Americans in Afghanistan, you know, as they're bringing mm -hmm. over, you know, the um the refugees. They done left. They done left. You know, the people over there. It's going to be. It's going to be a horrible. You know, it's 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 a mess. You found it? Go ahead. Uh. <clears throat> which which Afghan refugees are being resettled? in the U.S., and how are they being processed? The surprisingly swift Taliban conquest of Afghanistan this month and frantic evacuations from Kabul have ignited a national conversation about U.S. efforts to resettle Afghans who aided American forces during the 20-year conflict. Providing refuge, ref, sorry, providing refuge to Afghans who assisted the American war effort is a rare immigration policy with broad public support, including among both Republicans and Democrats. But the Biden administration's plan to airlift and relocate wartime allies from Afghanistan faces serious logistical and political challenges, including the rapidly approaching American military exit from the country on, the, on August 31st. The effort has also raised questions about how many at-risk Afghans the U.S. will be able to evacuate who qualifies for refuge, where those who make it out will be resettled, 
how they'll be vetted and what will happen to them once they set foot on American soil. Right. They're coming to the ghetto, to a hood they in. You. Somebody give me Deuteronomy 28 and 43. They're coming to the ghetto, to a hood they in. You. They were the next tag. Now, what's up with them halal stands or them, um, them carts that sell uh, the uh, chicken and rice? The land and right. rice? Yep. Yeah, here you go. Here goes some more. All right in the ghetto. In general, if I could, too. Not just here, but also be, being that Puerto Rico is a property, you know they're going to put something there, too. Listen, somebody was in the chat with me right now. I'm saying they put them over in all the club. Yep. They didn't put them mm -hmm. all over. You mm -hmm. understand? Wherever it's a ghetto, a barrio, a reservation, here come the T crew. Mm -hmm. Here they come. Who got to run the 28 and 43? I got it, sir. Read. You got what kind? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get, get up above thee very high. The stranger that is within it, meaning what? The stranger that's going to live amongst you, man. Who is that stranger to other nations? He's going to be above you, man. They coming right to the ghetto and over the businesses above you. That's what's coming. They're going to relocate these people right in the hood near you. And they will have money over the businesses the whole night while you still suffer and stay poor in the land of America. Right. That stranger that need that the thing you will get above you. Go ahead. Come on, come. And thou shalt come down very low. Man, we're going to be the low ones on the total ball once again. The same way they made treaties with the Vietnamese. What they do? Come over here. They got the, 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 the fried chicken wings and uh, the chicken wings and our uh, frick fries, right. the nail salons. They got all those things, man. Where they man yet in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. How you black people buy the most hair and don't have no damn hair store? They all owned by the, by, by the Oriental Supreme. Like that, that don't make no damn sense, man. Instead of you showing behind a black woman taking your hair and leaving it alone, put some damn pink or moisturizing it for a little while and let it grow on its own. You gotta get all that fake ass hair and pull your hair out. Right. Making other uh, countries rich, other people rich. You know, I mean, uh, you brush your damn hair backwards, put some pink or moisturizer on it, put a, a towel or rag on your hair, leave it alone for a while. It should just start growing uh, on its own. Right. Come on. Mm. But you're making the other nations break with your with your vanity, man. But guess mm. what? All you cats out here now that love Islam and Muslims, you will be eating some more halal, fafalal, and all the other kind of crap for them parts again. Here we go. And they come yeah. to a hood near you. Mm. Go ahead, keep on reading, brother. Any more on that? Uh, that's the end of that verse, sir. All right, you can drop that right there. Keep on going. But shot got more on the story. Somebody want to bring something out? Come, come. So, so like you said, and and I, I want to see, um, you know, I mean, what what type of jobs they're gonna give these people? Because they always, you know, I mean, they like to claim that um the Mexicans coming across here and taking all the jobs, right? Right. Well, yeah. Let, let me see what the Afghanistan people coming across here to do. You know what I mean? They will get them businesses, nice stock in the ghetto, and they will open up those stores. And they won't get them business. They don't have the delis, the delicatessens, right. you know, the food trucks. You know, they made a lot more food carts all over the damn place now. They will get them stores, man. Same way the Koreans got the hair stores. Right. The other, the other, uh, uh, other uh, what the hell? Oreos got the fried wings and the mm -hmm. trick fries. Right. The nail salons. They coming. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And most of it is because of our vanity, meaning things that we think will make us be good or make us be somebody special. But we're going to cut all that off, man. The Lord is going to separate ourselves from that, man. Come on, you want to say something? Come on, sir. That's why it's so important for brothers and sisters to come into the ISUPK because now is the time to position. You see the other nations, they're trying to reposition themselves amongst all these wars and different things like this. It's time for us now to gather together. What does the Bible say? Gather together, O nation, not desire. That's what mm -hmm. the scriptures tell us. We have now, we have a, we have opportunity to position ourselves, even amongst all this turmoil, to have it, to have something of our own, to have what mm -hmm. these other nations that they, they give each other. 
You understand? But if we come together, blacks, Hispanics, and so-called Native American Indians, and we come together, man, what we can do would be amazing. You understand? Joseph was a genius. You understand? He cornered the market during a time of great turmoil. You understand? Mm -hmm. We can do that if we come together under righteous leadership. And the only way to do that is in the ISUPK. That's right. Damn right, come on. Damn right. Come on, come on. All right, Mr. Time, got another story, brother? Come on, come on, sir. Come on, come on. Of course, you know, we the pawns, we the pawns on, on either side of the fence, whether we, we, you know, taking up arms to fight or being used on the political front. I know you all have heard of this um, this this brother, Herschel Walker. He have a good old cool name, too. Hmm. You know what I mean? The, the goodest of the coolness. Right. You know Hershey I mean? Walker. H Hershey Walker. Yeah. He 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 Trump was <laughs> him to to run for the governor of, of Georgia, I believe. Right. Mm. Go ahead. Former NFL player Herschel Walker, supported by Trump, jumps into the Georgia Senate race. Former football running back Herschel Walker. <laughs> has filed paperwork to run for a U.S. US Senate seat in Georgia, challenging freshman Senator Raphael G. Warner, Democrat, with the backing of former President Donald Trump. While a formal announcement is still expected to come, filings with the Federal Election Commission on Tuesday confirm rumblings that Walker, a football hero at the University of Georgia, before his National Football League career, Bookend with stints with the Dallas Cowboys, plans to run after changing his voter registration from Texas to Georgia last week. The 59-year-old celebrity candidate is the fifth Republican to enter the growing field to unseat Warnock, who narrowly defeated former Senator Kelly Loafer in a January runoff. Right, and if you remember, Georgia was one of them states where they was counting forever, I believe. They had a yeah, it was. They had a whole so, so now they're trying to put the the blackface, the literal blackface, in there. They've been putting mm. good old Sambo zip coon up in there so he could get you know he he could be safe enough for the Republicans to know that he ain't dangerous, and for the simple of us who you know are used to vote in Democrat to come over there so they can have full full control of Georgia to do to Georgia what they did with um. Where's that other one where the, the ball had one? I think it's Milwaukee or Wisconsin, where he was the sheriff up there. Wisconsin. And he he mm -hmm. was referring to the brothers who protest in the street as scumbags and rats mm -hmm. and, and pests because the, the brothers was protesting that the cops executed a brother who had a legal fire. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like this, this is where they're going. But Trump, Trump said something that is in the spirit of our oppressor. Read what he said. Run who shall run. Wouldn't it be fantastic if the legendary Herschel Walker ran for the United States Senate in Georgia? Right. He said, "Wouldn't it be fantastic?" This Trump, this picture, of Trump talking. It would be a good thing if he could, if he could just run for this this office. Go ahead. Oh God. Trump said in a March statement, he would be unstoppable, just like he was when he played for the Georgia Bulldogs and in the NFL. He is a, he is also a great person. Run, Herschel, run. Run, nigga, run. Run, <laughs> nigga, run. Run, nigga, run. He said, run, Herschel, run. <laughs> I'm going to tell, tell you why. Shot. Yes, sir. Listen, if, if he would have been done, listen, and when he played football, that was my man. I ain't, I'm going to tell you the straight. Go on, go on. That cat right there was, okay, he didn't work out with weights. All he did was calisthenics, and he would run everybody over. And he would outrun me. The bull had immense talent. But once again, that talent means nothing if your mind ain't right now. And his mind ain't been right. You understand what I'm saying? The thing he said recently, and this here all is coincides because once again, he's siding with the oppressor once part of his system. Yes, you understand? Sir. And once a part of it. So now they're gonna probably give it to him, man. They're gonna probably give it to him. They're gonna more likely give it to him. They can't but the hell of an athlete. You had a main end, but now he's showing his true colors. Like most athletes, man. Right. He mm -hmm. doing what Michael Jordan could have done. Right. Because right. Michael Jordan was short for the Rams ball, but they gave it to him. Right. You know what I mean? He doing what Michael Jordan could have done, but now he's just doing it, man. So now with that being said, that, that probably do me one double. See, let me say this to you, man. 
Give me the give me the book of Revelations. And besides, we got to end it with this here because we gotta get out of here, man. And listen, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Tomorrow we got Hebrew Academy to start. You young brothers ain't never been to Hebrew Academy, they go home and get their rest. I'm I trying to it. tell you. So the next two days, you ain't gonna get out the bed. Yep. You can be crying about the back hurt, your legs, your hands ain't hurt. <laughs> Evil Academy <laughs> coming. Now, I, I, scripture, as, long, as long as there's spirit in hoods. So. <laughs> yeah. As long as there's soul in <laughs> Hey, 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 sir, like we say in Puerto Rico, I don't want to say lo que es bueno. I think it's something real good. <laughs> go on, go Give me the book of Revelation in the 19th chapter. Y'all go fast. It's like what verse, sir? Start at verse 19. Come on, come on, sir. Revelation chapter 19, verse 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. That's talking about when they're going to come together in the body of the and the body of the decision, they're going to turn and try to fight against Christ and them 200 million angels coming out of the sky of Christ. They're going to turn and try to fight with him, man. Go ahead. Come, come. And the beast was taken and mm -hmm. with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. See that? That beast is talking about who? Who we talking about? Our oppression. Right. He will get taken in all the nations. And these false leaders, man. A prophet in the Bible is somebody who leads you the right way. Right? Mm -hmm. right. Guide you in the right direction, right? Right. Show you the right thing to do. They will get taken as well. You make it your right. choice. You make it clear what side you're doing for me. I'm gonna serve the Lord. Me and my household. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. show the most out of power, no matter what. You understand me? You making your choice, man. Keep on yes, reading, sir. brother. Come on, come. And, like and which with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. They were deceived, receiving that mark of the beast, fighting and killing the dying for the lion, man. Right. You mm -hmm. understand? Right. Fighting and killing the dying for you got deceived. I thank the Lord I ain't got blood on my hands for all the things I've done. Continue reading. Come on, come. No time to cry. Continue reading, brother. Come on, come. And them that worship his image. And the ones that worship them too. All you so-called good Christians, man, you're going to be taken as well. Right along with that beast. Mm. You worship in that image. That's what Herschel Walker's doing. Go ahead. And others like him. Go ahead. Come on, come. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. That lake of fire is going to be the land called America, man. That's going to be the lake of fire. That's the burn. Right. That's going to happen here. Right. Go ahead. Anything else? A couple guys. One more first, sir. Go ahead. Verse 21. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat who? upon the horse. Who was slain by who? And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. Let me tell you something. You ain't got to worry about us. You y'all want to label the ISUBK and, and, and whatever you want to call us. I mean, I don't know the name we gave us now. But guess what? We ain't harmed or hurt or killed nobody. That's right. We telling you what God gonna do to you. We give you future prophecy of the judgment of killing us in the land of America you're going to receive. Right. Mm -hmm. And they just the so-called Edomite nation, our precious, is all of other nations, man. All of y'all had a hand to play in our demise. And all of you gonna pay when I came to turn. That's right. All of you gonna pay. And you know what we gotta do? This is what we gotta do. We see brothers in the streets. We teach him, we're gonna talk with him. And we may have a battle with him. You know what I mean? I don't have to give him a shock on you. Now, when I had to give Nadia Dock and uh, Shit Kahan, you know what I mean? Come. You know what I mean? I'm gonna shoot you up. So they're gonna battle you down. And mm -hmm. once you get nice and frosty and cooled out, we're gonna talk. And you're gonna realize <laughs> that you've been wrong with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna wake you up. 
Right. That's right. Get you to come back to the Lord. That's right. Follow the law that you come in. Now, now, what tribe are you really from? Mm -hmm. That you really a prince of the power or a daughter of Zion? That's our job. And that's all we're going to do. That's right. And because we're doing that, our king will return. All right. You understand mm -hmm. me? You see this right here? This is the future, baby. That's right. right. This is right here. That's right. While we teach it, this is the future. Right. This is what we're praying for to happen. That's the right. Lord return. Mm. And if you want to know right. why you can't get out of Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria, and all them places down there in the Middle East, because it's supposed to be there. Right. That's the body to have to the body of the city. It's ordained by God for you to be there. Because we live in the last days of time. With that being said, we got to get up out of here, man. I'm going to take small money, everybody. This is a big up to Captain Rashad. Oh, you got to be nice, Doc. To Han, Ice, to Zagamad. You got to be big up to all y'all brothers and men. Get down. This is the uh, Black Watch. I'm going to let him speak. Wow. With Black Watch, the commander, give you a holiday. He'll be back on the show again, y'all. Don't fret. Don't worry about it. He's coming back. You got to be. He's coming back. With that being said, man, y'all pay y'all time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should get a man to the men of the Lord, man. I have to be Tomorrow night, we got gentlemen behind this glass. Check it out. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all know uh -huh. how to get get down. That's he right. the frame. Right. Also, I come to you tomorrow night on Black Watch Live. On Mon Black Monday night, sir. Monday night, night. Monday night. Monday night. Right? Monday night, sir. Okay, I'm playing Monday night. I'm tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. what? Sunday. Sunday. Oh, snap. Try it. <laughs> All right, Monday night with uh, Commander Jay Hanna on BlackWatchNews.com. Same with Gentleman oh, Hyman. Oh. Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know what I mean? We got Gentleman Yakawa, the Axiom Prophets on Wednesday morning. I think it's uh, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in shop. I think it's 11. 11, p 11 a.m. Kind of and we also got Cross to Ethan Line. Right. The Cactus is Garden Lock and Cotton is out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Thursday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me tell you something, man. We are living in the last days of time. And you make sure you lay it all on the line for the Lord, man. And see That's what he did to you. Yeah, these times will get rough out here. But don't you fret. <clears throat> the Lord said these times must come. But you will be all right. Your children will be all right. Why? Because of what you're doing for the Lord, man. Like That's the Bible right. says in the book of Second Edges, the second chapter, 26 down to 32. Y'all stay focused on this truth, man. And if you got an issue, if something bothering you, you know what you do? Pick up a goddamn phone and call somebody. That's right. That's right. You understand? Know you got brothers and sisters who you can talk to in the eye if you can. That's right. To help you through these things, man. You contact them camp leaders, them captains. Them general, and let's get some help. Let's raise this nation up, man. Raise this nation during the time, Israel. Shalom.
God, buddy. I will say, at the end, he is my refuge and my fortress. Always look at the most high. And the one will keep you safe. The one that will be your refuge. Go ahead. This UPK, the army of Christ. That's right. It's the pedigree the Lord gave you, man. Only man still holding that sword from back then, man, to now. I don't give a fuck what the mother kept saying. I see the record right. my son. I see the record when he was a top turtle in the whole goddamn nation, man. For all the poets and actors, man. And he only wanted to have his soul. That's so this day, 